Hello, my dear crafter. So here I am every year. I come back to you with the items that we are learning through my craft fair series. And I show you what has been selling and what has not been selling. And we share that because I think it's helpful for those of you who do craft fairs, even though we have to know that different places uh, different people different customers so but I, I think it's it's nice because you guys are here with me you know that I'm going to a craft fair and many 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 of you ask me how did you do so I'm going to talk about that today I'm going to show you at the end my number one bestsellers things that sold out in a couple of hours which was great and a bit frustrating because if I had known I would have made more but you never know, uh, I will know next year because this is the first time that I participate in this specific craft fair. And let me just, be before I show you what sold and what didn't, let me just show you the craft fair because I think it's nice to see what it looks like. So it's called called Local 14. It's a great craft fair. It's one of the big ones here in the city of Portland, Oregon in the US. Highly, highly organized. I loved participating. Great people there, great vendors. I made some friends and we had a lot of fun. It was actually three days of craft fairs. They have been doing this for 40 something years. I think it's like 46 years. So so it's very well known here locally. It's the first time I participate. The three of us did. As you know, my sisters and I, we do these things together. Uh, let me show you what Evelini's uh, booth or tables look like. Uh, she does several. That's my youngest sister, Evelini. She does ceramics. She does beautiful things. And that's what her stuff looks like. Let's quickly look at what Renata made. Renata works. Uh, my older sister, so I'm the middle one. Uh, she works with dried flowers. I'm actually having her come as a guest here. We're going to make some cards with her. But anyway, she does some beautiful prints. She does some beautiful... Uh, sometimes what she does is she makes these huge, huge, beautiful dried flowers like paintings, like real, the real thing. And then she creates prints out of them. So that's Renata. I don't have... I forgot to film my table when I had finished, but you can see a little bit here. I was still kind of putting things together. It doesn't look that great, but just so you know, uh, that's me, paper, you know me. So yeah, so that's the fair. I loved it. Uh, really, really great. I was so happy. I don't think I've ever sold that much in my life in craft fairs. I was really surprised by that. So by having said that, let's come back now to our present and I'm going to show you what sold and what didn't. So I'm going to st I'm going to start with the stuff that didn't. I have to say I sold a lot of a lot of things and what I'm going to show here is mainly what I have been creating with you guys. Some, some not, but most of it, they come from uh, my 2023 craft fair series. So you know some of these things and, and hopefully you've already made some because I've had tutorials for a while now. So let's begin with this one. So this one is a tutorial that I have in the past. It's called uh, using the mini cinch on how to make these notebooks with um, postcards. So that's what I'm using here. These are actually postcards. And I have like two. You have the two on each side, all Christmas related. And in the front, I have this plastic cover that protects it. This did not sell. I I had I didn't have many because I didn't have time to make a lot. I only had like maybe eight. And I have four left. So it didn't sell much. I think it's because of the price. I'm going to lower the price, honestly, because I think that the price was a little high. I am charging 12, is it 11 or 12, $11, I think. I don't have the price here, but I think it was like $11. So maybe if I lower a little bit, and that's what I'm gonna do. I have another one in the first weekend, uh, first weekend of December. That's, you guys remember, if you've seen this before, 
that's the one that I throw with my sisters. It's just the three of us, and it's called our it's our Christmas bazaar. And guys, I, that's where I sell the most. I don't think it's going to outdo this one, but I sell we sell a lot. And it's just the three of us, and we love it. We get our friends together, the neighborhood gets together, and we really sell really well. So these did not sell, but I do believe, and they came with a pan. I do believe it was because of the price. So I'm going to lower it to see if I get rid of it <laughs> during my bazaar. So that's the first item. And I will have always check my uh, list, my playlist called Bazaar Craft Fair Item Ideas and Tutorials, because you're going to see all of these there, okay? Let me show you something else that didn't sell well. Yeah, these ones here. You might remember, I didn't do a tutorial on this because this is basically something that I got at the Dollar Tree and I just kind of repurposed it. So I just decorated on uh, the front of it and this did not sell. I only had two there actually and there he's, they're still here, they're still around. <laughs> And I think maybe it's because this one was not Christmas related. I don't know. I'm just going to, again, lower the price and see if I can get rid of it for my... I don't want to have like bags and bags of stuff. So these, I don't know how much did I sell this for. I Maybe maybe it was like 5 or $6. So I'll just lower the price and, and we'll see. So that didn't sell well. Let me see what else. Guys, it's hard because I sold so much of everything. So remember these... I only had two there because this was actually a tutorial. That's sometimes what I do. I make a tutorial and then I put it aside and I try to sell it. So these only had two and I sold one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spice it up and decorate it a little more for Christmas. I'm going to have something else here with maybe a sentiment and I'll just repurpose it, redecorate it and see if I can sell these. So that, but guys, honestly, that's it. <laughs> that's what didn't sell. So I'm going to show you the stuff that sold really well. And then at the end, the absolute best sellers. And when I say absolute best sellers, these are things. So we had three days of craft fairs. These items sold in the, within the first, sold out within the first two hours of the craft fair, two or three hours. And I got there in the afternoon, there was none left. And I was like, oh dear, lush, if, if I had known, I would have made more, but I didn't have time in it. People just bought them like water. Actually, a lady told me that, Paula, you're selling like water. So let me show you these. Remember my, you still have not seen this tutorial, but I'm going to show you. I had a whole bunch of these. These are card kits that I created by, you know, using ephemera. The, the tutorial is coming up because someone asked me to, to make these and it really sold well. I only have these uh, four left. I sold them for $10 each and you can make six cards. So I have the contents here so they were able to read and they were able uh, to know how many cards they could make. So they could make at least six cards because they had ephemera. Uh, more ephemera than for six cards but yeah so these sold really well I remember a lady came to me and she was because I, I was doing the wrapping so I would always see what people were buying and this lady came to me and said oh I love these kits she didn't know I had made them and I told her oh thank you I made those and she goes and I said oh those are great those are great for inviting your friends over maybe if you have grandkids because she was I don't know in her 70s or 80s and I said if you have your friends over or maybe your grandkids and they we're gonna have so much fun and she goes oh no 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 she had bought like three or four <laughs> and she said no 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 this is for me I am having fun I'm not sharing it <laughs> said okay that's just me you have fun so anyway these sold really well so I highly recommend those and I had something like this just in front of the kids I had them like spread around and this on top so they could actually pick this up without having to open the box the boxes the bags so that sold well oh and the other thing that uh I can't I can't show you here but let me just show you the image from the video 
Uh, is the is this mini composition books? Remember that was my first video in this uh, 2023 series, so you can already find it on my channel. So anyway, those sold out. <laughs> so I, that's why I don't have any to show you here. They they sold out, and I I have not had time to make more because I will. I'll make a a few more for my bazaar. But just wanted to let you know that they sold really really well, and. Um, yeah, so let's continue with the video. Remember my little, uh, this you use the mini cinch too, my little notebooks. So I had a few that were Christmas related and others that were not. So I only have one left. I have to say guys, people love the miniature things. It's really a great attraction for your booth if you do miniature. So these sold well, $8. I mean, look at this, it's tiny little thing, $8. It is a lot of work though. People love the miniature things. They bought it. Remember from my series, you've already seen this tutorial for a nail file holder. I only have one left. I had tons of those. I only have one left. And this is the next one. Let me open so it's easier for you to see. But these are sold for $2.50 each. And I only have, look at this, this is the next, this is the next, you're going, it's coming up, the tutorial for this, I believe it's the next or maybe the following one. So that's another nail file holder, but it's just different, two different styles that I'm teaching this year. So this one also, I only have one left. I don't know if I'll have time to make more for my bazaar because I'm actually focusing on the new tutorials you have. You do stay, stick around because you have two tutorials a week until the end of December. So I have a whole bunch of new stuff coming up. So those sold well. I had maybe four of these. They are from last year. I, I have the tutorial uh, and you can find in my playlist. So I have like these beautiful tags here in the shape of a house. So I have like 10 tags. And they come in this little beautiful box. I only have one left. So I think I'm going to lower the price too. This one is $12. It's 10 and it comes in this cute box that stands, you know, stands up like that. So that sold well too. The other thing that I sold and it was really surprising to me, I sold maybe 40 something cards. I sold so many cards, guys. I, I make cards a lot because, you know, I have my card making um, get together with my friends and it's actually my favorite thing to do with paper. I love making cards. And I, I had all kinds of cards there. Like uh, this one is just be your beautiful self. So I had all kinds of different cards. Some of them were Christmas. Some were, some of them like this one is Christmas. There were a lot that were Christmas, but not most of them. Most of them were not. So I had just general cards like these, and I sold so so much. So I was really happy with that, and quite surprised really. So I'm making a lot of Christmas cards because my bazaar will be basically Christmas. I love this one. Can I just show you this one? So I charge $5 for my cards, for all of them. And I have something like this. This one is sad because you can't really show them. They only see the card, but they don't realize that that's what it has. This little cute cat inside. But anyway, I, I sold a lot and I was, I was surprised by that. So I am investing more time in making cards for, for the bazaar as well. And those will be just mainly Christmas. So yeah, that was a surprise, but a great one. So let me see. Okay, best sellers, absolute best sellers. No, let me go here. Remember these? You've already seen these too. I only have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. This thing here was like full and I had to fill it again. And it was just, I think it was the price too, because only I only charged like 50 cents. And some of the ladies there, they actually, the organizer told me, Paula, you have to up your prices. They're way too low. <laughs> 
So this is for sure not going to be 50 cents anymore. So I'm just going to charge maybe a dollar, right? But anyway, this sold like water. <laughs> she said that you know, these things are selling. Again, miniature small things that attract customers and then they buy the, mo the more expensive items. These sold really, really dozens. And um, I only had this left at the end. But let me show you the ones that sold out. And I had to make more. All of these are new. All of these are new. These are the best sellers. Uh, these are new because I had to make because I know they sell well and they sold out like crazy. So one of them was, I'm sure you guessed, the post-it note holders. The, I call them wallets, right? So I've been making these every day a few because I know they sell really well. And I'm going to sell them. I asked you guys how much should I charge. And I came to the conclusion that I'm charging $2 now. I think I was charging like a dollar for each. I'm going to charge $2. Because people are getting them like this. Like full hands of these. So I think $2 is a very good price. And because it does take, take a while. These are the new ones that I've made. And I might make some more. I don't know. I'm, I might just take these. This is the basket that I made for that. Remember my basket class, how to make baskets? And I made this one to carry these things. So that's something that, in the two absolute bestsellers, I had to make more too. Of course, the little purse. That's my online course. These were gone in two hours. I was, I actually saw a lady, it was really funny. She had like, three on each finger like this and she was like trying to hold them and she bought like the last ones and she came to me again because I was wrapping stuff and oh my goodness I love did you see and she was showing me actually so did you see these they have like a lip balm inside and I was laughing I said yeah I made those and she oh my do you have more because I needed seven more I'm sorry sold out these are really really what people fall in love with this is my number one bestseller so uh it's my online on i don't have a tutorial for this one but i do have my online class so you open up and you see the the lip balm comes inside and it's a velcro dot that closes it and yeah this lady was like this holding all her fingers <laughs> And she was showing everyone. She was so proud of it. So anyway, these were the number one bestsellers. They sold out in two hours. And I was really, oh my goodness, if I'd known, I would have made more. So if you want to learn, the, the link is below. You can, you know, buy the class. It's $9.99 and you can make tons of these. And you can also make these. This is the second bestseller. I only have one left because, and I'll tell you why this one survived. Because every time in my craft fairs, if you have something like this, it's cute and they can look around and see that there is something inside. But every time, this is a good tip for you if you're selling in craft fairs. If you have something like this that is closed, always have one open. So I will have like a ton of these just sitting like that. And I will always have one open like this. I will put something to hold here and one open so they see what's inside. And the same thing I did with this one. And this is the gift card holder, also part of my class, the 999. You learn how to make these two things, that and that. And also a pom-pom um, charm. But this one was the one that was open and it had uh, um, a card here, a gift card here. So they would know what it looked like inside. And this was the only one left. And also in the first morning of the first day, it sold out and I had like a whole bunch of them because I think it's because it's it was the one that was open and nobody saw that. And I, maybe they thought they couldn't take this one. So that's the one, only one left. So yeah, I'm going to make some more of these for sure because gift cards are big for Christmas here. And it just, you can just insert it here and just stands here, like it stands out like that. And then you close it and it's a really cute bag. So yeah, those were my two absolute, yeah, these are my two absolute um, bestsellers. So this is it for my first craft fair. 
stick around. I still have, I don't know, maybe 10 more videos for you teaching you how to make these little gifts for your loved ones. So if you, you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. And yeah, and find the link to my class, my online class for these two items here down below and also my playlist where you can find other tutorials from previous years, okay? So thank you so much for your time and I know you cheer for me and you always hope that I do well and I did and thank you Local 14 for the opportunity to be with you guys. You were fantastic, great people, great ladies and oh my goodness, I it was one of those places that you go and you have a hard time not spending all the money you make on buying other stuff because the products there were just high high end and beautiful things and I had to really control myself me and my sisters so stick around I still have one more craft fair coming in a lot of tutorials thank you so much for spending your time with me and continue watching my series thank you